All right, with Python 3.8 just coming out, we now have this new operator that a lot of people are asking questions about called a walrus operator. And it just looks like this. It's a colon with an equal sign. That's all it is. But how does it actually work? First and foremost, let's take a look at what version of Python I'm using. I'm using Python 3.8.0, and I'm just going to get into my Python REPL, so you can either type Python, or I have IPython installed, so I'm going to use IPython. And here's an example of how it, how it used to work, or how we used to do things. Let's say we have a number, n is equal to 200. And then we would say, if n is greater than 20, print greater than 20. And there's nothing wrong with this at all. But the walrus operator allows us to do this in one line of code instead. So now we can say, if, with a parentheses, n2, that just stands for number 2, colon equals 200, parentheses, is greater than 20. And so now at this point, we are assigning n2 to be 200, colon, because it's an if statement, print n2 is the second number. And they both evaluate. And now we can use n2 outside of this if statement as well. Now, where would you ever use this? You would use this where anytime you need to compute something that's somewhat expensive, maybe it's mathematically expensive, maybe it's a database query that's going to take a while and you don't want to have to write it twice, or maybe you just want to write cleaner code and have less lines of code to maintain. Let's go through one more example here. Let's say we have an integer and its number is going to be one and let's do a while loop. So while, and we're going to assign a walrus operator here. So let's call this num walrus operator is equal to i and it is less than 10. So basically what we're saying here is while i is less than 10, continue doing a thing. So now we can print both of these out. We can say, print i, print num, are the same number. And it goes on and on and on and on, until of course you add i is equal to i plus one. There we go. And so now we can see that i and num are both accessible, they're the exact same value. Now this is a terrible example, because well you already have i, it's already been calculated, you don't need to do anything beyond that. So this was not the greatest example because both numbers are the exact same and I was already computed, so you know why do it twice? But it is a good example of using the walrus operator, where num is consistently whatever the value of i is in a while loop. We didn't have to reassign it down here, we just did it right inside of the while loop. So that is a walrus operator in a nutshell.